a bubble in the rage that is permeating this universe. And this rage and religious intolerance is becoming very, very violent. And then there are opportunists who light up and flare up religious differences and they make a killing in prophets for their nefarious inputs and ideologies. So whilst this is happening on one end Innocent people are bearing the brunt. <coughs> then loyalists without any real facts are getting involved. And then the huge media houses are making a profit from religious intolerance. So we decided that the time which presented itself locally will have universal ramifications. So without any fear, we're going to go into this very sensitive topic. And I'm going to give you an example. As I've stated, the Sri Narayan Dham expounds absolute science. And for absolute science to be expounded, you have to experience experiments. There's two words, experience and experiment. You have to experience experiments yourself as a human, as opposed to experience experiments within matter from matter to matter. All of you understand? So I'm saying this would love Sita. Sita was here earlier today and she saw a huge crowd and broken bottles. For the past three days, a huge crowd and broken bottles meant rioting. So Sita to protect her fellow devotees and her guru and her ashram, she informed everybody that there is a riot about to take place a few kilometers from the ashram. And 
They can't send this with love, but we need to experience this so I can discuss. From here at the Sri Narayan Dham in Durban, South Africa. So if Sita stopped, I don't think I would have even stopped. All right? If I saw a huge crowd of people gathering bottles. But had Sita stopped, observed, and found out from the people that were gathering all these bottles and rocks, then she would have been told the truth. And what is the truth? These are municipal workers clearing up the mess that was made three days ago. Isn't that is the truth? But because Sita did not verify the truth, then what message was given? Untruths. Untruths because it was not very Now this untruth traveled how far? How far, Dana? To all the devotees. Yes. And had I not intervened and realigned the truth, then this untruth would have continued gaining momentum. Isn't it? And this hall would have been empty only myself, Mataji, Sean, I mean Sherwin and Nadira. And poor Nadira didn't know how she's going to go out of the Tashan. <laughs> Alright? So this is this misinformation which was innocent. Which was innocent. Sita wanted to protect her ashram. She wanted to protect her guru. Despite her trying to poison the guru a million times, she still <laughs> wanted to protect the guru, protect the devotees. So she was innocent and innocently misinformed a huge amount of people on the WhatsApp group. Didn't she? Now imagine what devious people can do. Imagine what devious people can do. We are on the topic on oneness. We are on the topic on oneness. When a situation of religious intolerance arises, it's here since the beginning of time. It's here since the beginning of time. There's always differences in your family, within your family, within the brothers, within the sisters. There's always a difference of philosophy, a difference of opinion. Then, when it comes to religion, how many of us would go back and look at the absolute truth and see that these leaders who is promoting a certain philosophy or ideology is coming from his own truth. All of you understand? Everyone understand? So I am going to scientifically and Historically, you think there should be a difference between history and science? There shouldn't be a difference between history and science. Why? What does science mean? Knowing things as knowing things as. So when you're disturbing me. Science means knowing things as it really is. And history means knowing things as it really 
to us. Science means knowing things as it really is and history means knowing things as it really was. So we are going to bring the was to the is. And it is going to be a long and an arduous journey because when masses when masses get used to a certain ideology then it's going to be difficult to change the mindset of masses. Notwithstanding, notwithstanding this obvious task at hand, we at the Sri Narayan Dham, through the Sri Sampradaya, we're going to unpack Sanatan Dharma and we're going to unpack the major religious organizations and religions that exist currently on this planet. And in order to do that, we need to go back to the very first revealed scripture, which is the Vedas. Then the next scripture is the next scripture is the Zen Avesta of Zoroaster. Then the next scripture will be the scripture of Buddha. Then the next scripture will be the scripture of Judaism. Then the next scripture will be the scripture of Christianity, the Bible. And the next scripture will be the scripture of Islam, the Quran. Then we need to go back on to our topic, topic of we are running this discourse under the topic Oneness. Oneness. In, that, in this oneness, I said the Vedas, the Zen Vesta, the writings of Buddha, the writings of Judaism, the Torah, uh, the writings of the Bible, and the writings of Islam. I separated oneness into six categories but I'm saying the topic is oneness. So we need to journey through the very first scripture and then take a journey through all the scriptures. Take a journey through all the scriptures and see where these scriptures are similar and where these scriptures are different. Where the scriptures are similar and where they are different. And where they are different we need to through science and history and the first scripture see how this difference took birth and why this difference took birth when this difference took birth. All of you understand? Don't you think before we start fighting with each other, we need to know what our root of our religion really is. What our root of our religion really is. And if we belong in the same tree, 
if we belong in the same tree, then we're just hurting our selves ultimately. If we belong in the same tree, we're just hurting ourselves ultimately. Imagine Nirali is one branch of a tree. Nirali. And you see another branch of the tree you don't like. And you start whacking that tree, that branch. But what you doing, what are you weakening? Yeah. What you weakening? Yourself. How you weakening yourself? Because you also are connected to the same tree. All of you understand? Then this topic is going to be sensitive. There's going to be a lot of talk on this topic when it is posted. Because I showed you in my last discourse, alright? And you all saw it, you all witnessed it today. Every one of you witnessed something today. And Tibeshni comes in the spotlight again. <laughs> Tell me what you all witnessed from Tibeshni today. The famous Tibeshni. What did you all notice? There are thousands of flies in this ashram, isn't it? They are troubling everyone, including the Guru. Many are seated on my lap, on my head. But what you saw Tibeshni doing? Sorry? What you also saw Tibeshni doing? Only dusting her father. own father. Yeah. <laughs> How many fathers are here? <laughs> so it is human nature instinctively to defend your own. own. Isn't? Mm -hmm. And you can see nobody taught Tibeshni to do this. It is a human instinctive nature to defend your own. And this is where religious intolerance is at its peak. Because if you belong to a particular religion, it doesn't matter whether the next religion is right or wrong, if you hurt or if somebody fueled hostility between two religions, then you're not going to check the facts. You're not going to verify anything. What you're going to do? Instinctively, like Tibeshni, you're going to? You're going to? Protect your own. And whilst you're protecting your own, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Are you fixing the problem or are you adding to the problem? All of you understand? All of you understand? Check. And when I say check, 
I mean, to view this situation from verifiable angles. And you need to look how many of you have seen this thing out in India recently. Thank you. 
sense of the three in the Dharma and Sanatana Dharma. We are stating that Sanatana Dharma is not a religion, it is absolute science. We are stating that knowledge for this absolute science is the very breadth of the Supreme or the source of all sciences, the Supreme God. We are saying that the Veda which were recorded, although eternal, recorded the writing 5,000 years ago, Similar to modern day Wikipedia. The Veda of 5000 years ago recorded is similar to modern day Wikipedia. In Wikipedia, you can get any information on anything. Similarly, information about the universe, information about material nature, information about spiritual soul, and information about super soul is conclusive and comprehensively elaborated in excess of 540,000 verses in coded Sanskrit. In coded Sanskrit. So the information is already there. It exists without any author. It exists eternally without any we need to now in this age of modern technology take a dial to memory go back in time find the absolute truth go down to where Sia was driving a car this afternoon Ask those people at half past four, or no, this time past five o'clock. Ask those people at 5 p.m. on the 15th of October 2020. A group of people on the side of the road with bags of bottles and sticks to work. And what do you think the community is going to tell you? Municipal workers sweeping the road. So we have to go back, check facts, verify facts, because history and science, science means, science means, science means. as uh, they really are at this point in time and history means things as they really was so science means things as they really is and history was okay so if you see Sita she really is nobody burnt her nobody touched her she is still alive and she is sitting in the same satsang that she wanted She herself is still alive and all the people that she want don't come to the right? So if we go back to that history and right now at this point in time, it is science because she is really yeah. now at this point in time. All of all understand the analogy. I hope those of you that are transcribing can unpack it as I I don't think to end the question will ever be out of the line of the Satan. Are there any questions? 